All right, now we try to build a song out of this pig's breakfast. And what this track needs is elements that rise and move and go just past the one bar problem that we have going on. It's quite repetitive. Okay, and I'm just going to loop these out basically just to have them in there. All right, so don't hate me for this, but in the browser I've selected riser. And in my own library I've built these risers using Ableton synthesizers. If you want to know how to do this, I believe I did it in the tutorial Go Live with Live or one of those other ones. They go something like this. Okay, and what they are is Ableton Live presets with automation built in. It's way past what we're doing here, but as you follow along, find something, some swoosh or some internet sound that rises or that goes into a tension and a release, like a hiss or something. Right now, I'm going to place this into an open field. It's going to give me a MIDI channel. And you can see that I have this pitch envelope in here. Again, if you want to know how to do it, it's in another tutorial. And I hate doing that to people, but it'll help the music to sound better. So here's what we got. Okay, and just for the sake of consolidation, just to make it easier to copy stuff out, I'm just going to recolor this one and Command-D it in this shaker. I'm going to consolidate also to that amount of bars, Command-J. Now it's that, different color, shaker, Command-D out. And the same with this loop here, this MIDI lead, Command-D out. Okay, so now I have all these elements. To, I'm going to turn off this overview right here, which is right there. Give us a little more room. Okay, and in here there's a number. When I select a loop brace, uh, if you don't know how to put a loop brace on you, simply select something, Command L, and there's a loop brace. When I right click a loop brace, I have this menu here. Cut time, copy, duplicate time, delete time, consolidate time to new scene. Okay, so duplicate time is simply me saying, yeah, Bob, this first gray, this first eight bars is awesome. Can you give that to me again? And I right click and say, yeah, sure, Dave. Here you go. It's Shift Command D here according to the right click menu. Boom. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, that is. All this stuff is still also found under this menu here. And it's self explanatory. Um, duplicate means that I'm going to copy something and it's going to mow into the stuff ahead. Duplicate time means I'm going to copy something and it's going to push whatever it is out further and not run over it. The typical way of working is to first want to look at the grid. These are our bar numbers and we can say turn this to one bar and we know that 16 bars is kind of a standard intro for electronic music songs. I'm going to take this up to eight. So now I have two sections of eight. Okay. And I'm just going to duplicate this out a few times, and then we're going to excavate a song out of it. Okay. So to start, I'm going to have no bass, delete, delete, no drone, and also in addition to deleting, if I'm not sure, I can just hit the zero key and that deactivates it. And I certainly don't want any of these leads or anything, but I do want my risers in here. So I might want to start my bass line right there. So I'm just going to option drag a bass line back. Okay. And then it's just a matter of creating 
a contour. So I'm gonna, once I get up here, I'm gonna head to this. And it's a matter of moving stuff in and out based on taste. Select it and hit the zero key, just like so. And believe you me, this is not going to win any awards whatsoever, but it's to just get the point across. So then I can duplicate this whole thing again. And now we have this kind of pig's looking breakfast in here. And it's at this point you might want to Shift select eight bars worthy of your kick drum and command J consolidate. Same with your snare, and that just gets it easier to manage. Shift select command J, etc. Same with this pattern here. Okay, stuff like that. So then I can just command D this out, duplicate it, and it gets easier to manage. A lot of times I like to just sit back and Listen to the track with my hands off the mouse and my eyes closed. And your body kind of knows when it wants a change. Okay. And you can just affect those changes. Say that I got into this situation where I just want a complete silence here. Okay. I just select that selection and just delete it. And I might stick this across and it'll get better during mix down. Okay, so what do we do? We took sections, small little bits, and consolidated them using Command-J. We took sections of our song, shift-selected areas, and right-clicked up here in the loop, brace, and found this menu, duplicate. There's also cut time, copy. Copy would be where you take this and then you move it up. Take my thing down to four, select the top track, and then paste time, just like that. That's a uh, copy paste, just like so. Okay, and we found all these things in this menu are also up here, okay? So if you just sit and look at these designations, they all make sense. Cut is taking something out without taking out time. Cut time is taking out a section just like this, shift select, cut time, we'll squeeze it back together again, undo. Paste time, we'll push it back out like that. Delete time, same thing. So pretty self-explanatory, pretty cool. So it's in this way that you create contour and interest. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you some things about automation and creating depth 